Alright, that's it. I'm done waiting. Audrey, please, they're trying to find 18. Reese, I don't care! I'm not going to let a friend die just because... Just because we want to find out our names. Twelve. Um, we already did find out our names, so don't act like the dumb one here. Darren, shut up! Alright, phone up back in ten minutes. Go get help. Audrey! Ariel, don't go after her! And why not? Because then they'll think something suspicious. Oh, really, Darren? If I were them, I'd already be suspicious enough. Ari! Look, I already told you, they're working on it, okay? No! I demand to know where my friend is right now, or I'm gonna. Look. What? It's gonna be fine. No, it's not. Look, I wanna know where she is. Look, ma'am, if you come up here one more time asking, we will. Miranda, calm yourself down. Hello. Uh, hi. I was wondering if I could see my friend. She is talking to Dr. Morris or the president or someone along those lines. Could I speak with her? And what is their name? Eight, I mean, Caitlin Jennings. Oh, I'm familiar with that. Come on, follow me. Wait, what? Heard what I said if I'm not back in 10 minutes, go get help. But what if everything's okay in 10 minutes spent? Everything is not okay, Ariel. It was never okay. Audrey! Audrey! You are not going anywhere. I guess not. Are you still not going to tell us? Because if you don't, we'll just see where life takes you next. <laughs> Fine. Because of course, you know the drill, 18. We kill you. Your friends think you died of a severe accident. But of course, if you tell us everything that you've known your whole life, then that's a better story. But of course, we'll kill you anyways. You have three choices, 18. Die like your mother did, or you can die the way a lot of people think it's the way of life. By given, given, themselves their own dose. Or you could always die a quick but painful death. <laughs> what was that? Would you like to tell us something? <laughs> I knew it had something to do with death. Why are you doing this to people? Why? 18, that is classified information. My name is not 18! It's Galen! Go on, Brett, tell her. She'll die anyways. As you wish, Samuel. 18. Or should I say, Caitlin? We do this because the bodies are what's keeping us alive. To put it bluntly, Caitlin, the people are nothing but droids to us. And they always have been. But I 
thought you were the one who found a cure. <laughs> a cure. <laughs> that was all a lie, wasn't it? A complete and utter lie. To us, it's a white lie. But to other people, it's much more than that. And by following your actions, we can see that. But once the bodies die from giving themselves a weekly dosage, they have components of an actual cure. But of course, we're not going to let anyone get their hands on no matter what. So you're saying people are mixing themselves up with a death trap? And when they die, there's going to be a cure? How many dead bodies have you had to go through that cure, huh? You liar! I bet that's what you did with my mother. I bet you! 18, your mother is different. Every week, a person is allowed to give themselves one little tiny dosage of their syringe. Your mother, the complete opposite. She drank directly from the bottle, which can kill a person instantly which is what happened. We couldn't do anything to her body because she didn't have the right nutrients to correct the cure. But of course that cure has been thrown away or it can be used to make more of what we're making today. do anything, Caitlin. Oh wait, we can. But of course we choose not to. So maybe we'll give you a proposition that of course you won't resist. You try to get yourself out of here because we won't help you. The only things you'll get are these three items, and Samuel, a gun? Oh, come on, Brett, she won't be able to reach it. And if she does, what can she do with it? Shoot herself. Then you'll be reunited with your mother again. Or maybe, of course, your father, on some levels. Shut up! As you wish.
All right, honey, 18 should be this way. Miss, drop the knife right now. Or of course, we'll shoot. Where's Caitlin? I want to know where Caitlin is, and I know you know where she is. Ma'am, look, just come with us and we'll find your friend, okay? Okay? <laughs> That's a lie. Was locked. Help! 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 Somebody, please! Gosh, what happened to your face? Um, I had a bit of a killing spree, and I think you might have gotten blood on your face a little bit. Sorry. No, it's perfectly fine. Hey, hey, what happened to your pack? Um, look, I'll explain later, but we have to get out of here. I swear, I'm never coming back to DC anymore. Same here. Where were you? We've been looking all over for- I was tied up to a chair while Dr. Morris and President Darrant were just- just tormenting me and asking me more questions. I thought we already explained everything, that we already asked them all the questions and they asked us all the questions. Oh, it's not like that anymore. Look, Audrey, we have to get Arielle, Darren, and Reese out of here. Right now, where are they? I don't know. I just got locked up in a room and 
Look, like a man and a woman just came in here and just asked me, put down the knife, cause I don't know, there was just some, it was just really sketchy. You're right, we gotta get out of here.